Valparaiso University School of Law presents portions of its conference on law, poverty, and economic inequality. This is a great subject for a conference for this law school. On the one hand, it moves in the direction that the school is moving, which is becoming a global law school with a global reach and a global interest. But it is also uh, true to the historic values and the historic concerns of the school, with its emphasis on rights and values and the solution of social and legal problems, and with its emphasis on the fact that the issues that we deal with as lawyers and as law-trained problem solvers are at bottom problems for people and that it is our task as lawyers and law-trained problem solvers to make the world a better place. It is our collective task as lawyers and judges and consumers of the law to help navigate the ship of the judiciary in a way that does not end in catastrophic results. In theory, justice is available readily and equally to all. In practice, however, access to justice is either is easier for some, more so than others. From the vantage point of litigants, it poses a host of other issues. Not least among them is that when asked what concerns them most about the use of courts to resolve their problems, the litigants respond, it's too complicated, it takes too long, and it costs too much. Adding to this list of legitimate concerns is the unrepresented litigant and the litigant for whom English is not a first language. Our court, the Indiana Supreme Court, has laid the groundwork for a statewide pro se assistance network to provide basic resources to self-represented litigants. The Supreme Court has created the Indiana Pro Se Advisory Commission in response to the growing national phenomena of people choosing to represent themselves without lawyers. For more information on Valparaiso Law, please visit valpo.edu slash law.